Today we are going to turn this image to a golden sunset look with the free Snapseed app. This is the original image of wheat crop which I am going to try to make it golden. First I am going to expand the image upwards to make room for the sky with the expand tool. Using the white option and expanding this upwards, the maximum length you can expand. So doing it 3 more times to make it longer. Now using the perspective tool and selecting the free option, I'm going to stretch the image a bit by dragging the upper corners of the original image to get more of the foreground. You could continue with this or save this and open as a separate edit as working with more layers can sometimes run into RAM issues. So opening the saved image again. Now I'm going to try to turn the crop to a golden color. Using curves dragging the green curve down to remove greens and add magenta. Dragging blue curve towards right for yellowish tones. Also adding some red tint to it. Making it a little more brighter. Now we'll turn down the saturation in tune image. Also just a bit of warmth. Saving the image. Next, to remove the sky part in the current image, I am going to turn the image to black and white with more contrast. Also selecting blue option to make the sky brighter. With selective filters, turning up the brightness on the parts of the sky. Using curves, making the image high contrast to turn the sky to white. To remove white spots in the foreground, turning the image to black with curves and in the masking screen, brushing on those white spots to make them black. Similarly again with curves, turning the image to white and in the masking screen, brushing in the sky to turn it completely to white. Now using double exposure, I am going to add the last saved image and choose option lighten to apply the image only on the black parts. Next we will be adding a new image of stormy clouds with double exposure. Scaling it and placing it mainly in the sky. Setting the opacity to 100. Going to masking screen. Masking out the image in the foreground. Zooming in to the maximum to create a sharp mask 
and brushing out the clouds to replicate the edge of the clouds. Taking bit of time here to complete the masking work. Here is the result. Adding the same image again using double exposure. Placing it around the center and setting the opacity to 100. Going to masking screen, masking out the image completely in the foreground. But we'll add it in the background just below the old sky with some gap left for the light to leak. Using the healing tool to remove the lightning part. Darkening overall image using curves. The masking screen removing the effect in the middle to create a vignette effect. Adding some temperature in the sky with white balance. And applying it in the masking screen. Adding some harsh brightness to the highlights with curves to make those parts pop more. Turning down the saturation a bit in the sky. Couple of selective filters. One in this corner of the sky to reduce brightness and one around here to brighten that part more. Massing work to get the selection right.
finally tuning the overall contrast with curves. The final result here. Hope you found some useful tricks in this video. Thanks for watching.